Well, I've been making clocks for the entire city of Indianapolis, big ones, small ones. And I thought the library was an important place, so they should get a big one. So I thought with this side, it represents the old library. Um, and I also put the Indiana flag in it. So I have a lot of old library motifs. And since we have a newer library, I, the other side represents the new library and the new employees who work there now. So I'm a woodworker, that's my trade, and um, I really don't smoke or take lunch breaks, so I need something to do to keep busy. So I figured I'd make a whole bunch of clocks for Indianapolis. But I wanted to make art to where it also serves a function, and then also to make art to where people can identify with it. They can actually see things that they um, recognize in it. When I first put up the clock, the first person came up to it and they saw their neighbor in it, their neighbor's book. There's a lot of information in the library. And, uh, the way I do my artwork, like I've made art pieces for the museum and the next big clock will go up in uh, the arts garden. I kind of like go into the place and absorb everything, see who the employees are. I've seen a photo of some of the employees from yesteryear who used to work here. So I made sure I put them in this side that represents the old clock. Um, we have a lot of quarter saw and white oak in the library, so I wanted to match up with that. And there's a lot of architectural details that I wanted to get into. So I just used my camera. I usually draw pictures on the clock, but to change it up this time, I used uh, my camera instead. I have a lot of respect for this event. Um, I was listening to Tony on, on the radio, and I didn't know 26 years and uh, how he started. In a lot of ways, he's like myself, I think he's like a blue collar worker, but he kind of wanted to make his job go into his um, art projects. So I can respect that. Um, I was curious if, my, if I could ship my smaller clocks in the mail. So I was at home one day watching television and I saw a segment on NBC Nightly News called Making a Difference, where you try to do something cool for your community. And I thought to myself, that's me. So why don't I send NBC Nightly News a clock and I'll put all the employees in it and then I'll start drawing out New York City. And since I'm gonna have New York City graphics, I might as well send one to David Letterman too because he represents Indianapolis. I've always sent out my clocks, people like them, they're cool, they can identify with them because they're in it and it's about their city, their town, what they're about. I have, um, I probably have my clocks in five newsrooms already in the city hanging up.